Well, you guys hear that thing fired up. We're about to head down to Redneck Mud Park. We're only going for one day, but uh, it's going to be pretty epic. Bringing the side-by-side, -side. we're going to be doing the side-by-side -side racing. And then we might even race the truck if the class allows. They have another uh, class there. It's a fire drill race. We'll see if they'll let us race that. But she's looking freaking good, dude. Mean, buddy. Mean. Redneck Mud Park found. Going for the day. Normally go for the whole weekend, but this weather's been crap. Had a lot going on. Just gonna go for the day and send it. Gonna do another mud bog. Budget bogger. At it again. We're out here at Redneck Mud Park in Ponte Gorda, Florida. Another great event. We're out here to do some racing, some bogging. First of all, we're gonna be racing the Can Am X3 which right now at this track, I pretty much hold a, a record of uh, never losing a race as far as right now, I think. I might have lost one, can't remember, but for the past year, I haven't, haven't lost any. So we got a purse going on there, so that's gonna be a good little payout, hopefully. And then we got the budget bogger. We're gonna go bogging and see what that thing is made of today on the 44s. We're either gonna break something or hopefully not break something. One of two things gonna happen. Right now, clean it out. It's been sitting for a long time, so it's got to do one little pass with it, get it back, and then in a few minutes, we're going to start the head to head side by side race. We're lining up the race. We got the non turbos lining up now. They're going to do their races, and then we're going to do our race. I'm not sure yet if we're doing one race or two. They're going to let us know here in a minute. Um, but there's a good amount of turbo units. There's at least one. five turbo units so it's not bad very tight track this time they shorten it because they're changing up the track and they're doing consistency unfortunately that means less jump and it's a little slower because we're going to be going tighter but it is what it is get to work on my turning skills today non-turbo about the rip and then we got turbos it's going to be one race five laps winner take all 700 to win I don't know what everybody else is making. I think it's seven, five, and three. Seven, five, two, fifty. Yeah. Seven, five, and three hundred. All I know is it's a fifteen hundred dollar purse. Winner takes seven hundred. So it's not winner take all. My math is wrong. All right, we got. Five. I'm gonna count it down five laps. I might be right here waving at you. I don't know. Side I might by run side into the race. Middle, this is the non-turbo class. At the fifth class. lap, we're gonna have a winner. Y'all wanna help me count it down?
First W of the day. Came in there pretty hot on the first lap. That one dude blew me away on the straightaway. Come in the corner right behind him. The inside line was like a rail, like two rail, like two ruts. And I came in and I think I bumped him a hair, but he hit those ruts and just went like that. It almost went over. It was like this close to going over. But all in all, he's running pretty good. I had to take it out of the barn from the last one and run it in this one's not doing too bad. <laughs> Still going. So now me and you we gotta do the fire drill race. Fire drill race. That's what I hear. I'm ready. Alright. I'm always ready. So fire drill race, we're both gotta go down the end of the track in the 6-0, stop, jump out of the truck, get swap seats, however we do it, and uh the fastest one back here wins. Yep. Should be interesting. No problem. See what happens. So upon further review, I'm gonna post the GoPro footage on full screen so you guys can see it. Um I was mistaken. I did bump him, but he completely left the inside open, wide open. And what he did was he came in the corner and tried to square it off, but he was so far out. I didn't think he was going to try to cut in that hard. So I was already, I mean, my front right tire was at the front of his door. And then basically when he tried to do that, his left rear tire ran over my right front. And that's why he popped up. So it wasn't intentional. If you look at the GoPro, I'll post it here in a second. It looked like there was plenty of room, which there was, and then he tried to square the corner off. And when he did, kind of screwed himself. So it was uh, not intentional. I don't like to race like that, but uh, stuff does happen. I think he was cool with it. Nobody got hurt, nobody flipped, which is awesome. And, uh, you know, racing's racing. Got, can't leave that inside open. Got to cover it. Let's say I ran a 51 second time and I ran a 52 second time and the other guy ran a 51 second time and then a 51 and a half, he would win because both of his runs are closest together. So it's not really a head to head thing, but we are gonna run it. They got a decent purse for it, so we might as well try it. This truck should be very consistent. Let's see what happens. All right, so Justin's pulling up for his first consistency run.
It really is probably the fastest truck out here. For sure, that's what I was thinking. But, uh... Those just sound fast. They're not really fast, though. So. I think I ran a 6.4 and there was a 3 four, seven, seven. Pretty good, not bad. Hopefully the second rate run is pretty close to that. Yep. Alright, Justin's up for his second round. This is where it will determine how consistent he was on his first and his second run. Tommy Allen in the right lane. Today, if these old girls, you put them, slow, in, put them in four wheel drive, dude. We're both rocking the, we're both rocking the race shoes today. These so, things slip. Our whole, whole plan is at stake on a pair of Crocs right now. Man, this helmet's tiny. Huh? This helmet is tiny. Helmet? That's <laughs> yeah, ah, all right. drivers yeah I almost slipped off that door <laughs> swaps are slow. So after the first round though, we are first place. Going in the second round now, you gonna be able to do that again? I hope so. Hope so we don't pull a hamstring <laughs> or our backs out. This, my foot was real close to going <laughs> by my We're old. Oh, that truck looks fast. That's gonna be rough. Dang. Oh, he's a one man team though, so he's gotta get out and run around the truck and we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Yeah, we got it.
think our other one was faster. I think so too. I couldn't get in the seat in time. That's all right. Our other run was faster. It's, it's only the best whichever run. Place it out. Well, we ended up second place. It's the bog truck class, but they did have then a race truck out there and he beat us. So whatever, no big deal. We had the fastest swap of the day for sure. Do over there. And uh, we had fun doing it. So, they got their whole group oh well, we'll get it next time. But next time we're gonna make a rule where you gotta go bog your truck after and make it a bog truck class. I think that is only fair. They're gonna do that. So fire drill race complete. First in the turbo side by side. Dead last probably in the old uh, consistency. Completely had an issue there, we don't know what. But second place in the bog truck fire drill. So back to bogging now. Let's go out there and do some mud bogging and have some fun. It's gonna be a good day. Hey guy, that's probably about all you need to be driving, bud. Cause when I'm done with you at the track, with the burnout contest, that's what you're gonna be in. Annihilated. We have a very rare look at a killing it mega truck in the mud. I want to get video documentation of this.
Montgomery truck. Right there. We've got recovery number two. We've got Zach killing it lifestyle over here. Get us on our second recovery. There we go. Undo it. She's got mud cake everywhere. But I will say we definitely have to put gears in it and we thought we were gonna have to. So we're gonna see what we can do about getting some gears for it. But it's uh, very, very, very laggy. Obviously 44s on stock gearing is not ideal. So we, we don't know if the truck has a 373 or a 355 or, or whatever. We know it's not a 410 or anything. So we think it probably has a 373. If it does, we're gonna probably go to like a 513 or or even lower than that. I'm not sure yet, but uh, still bogging. But you can definitely tell a difference. It does not have the uh, the ripperness in it like it did. It's definitely laggy and got to get some gears in it for sure. Absolutely. So now probably your next mod, but we ain't done yet. We're gonna go back out here, bog for a little bit more, go cart around and see what other people are doing and see if anybody else is stuck and. Should be a good day. Ultimately, so far, so good. It's a racer and a bogger. I mean, it's already won us money. I was going to say, so, remember, we have put money back into the pot for gears. We put $200 back in the pot for the gears. And honestly, gears, not that much. You know, there's a chance that I'm going to have to have you do some favors for some people and Ooh. get us some more money. Could they be like work favors, not favor favors? Depends on what we need, bud. Oh, man. It's fine, though. You'll be all right after. Don't worry about it. <laughs>
tuggy tug out. Not sure if he can get it gear. There we go. up our redneck mud park video had a pretty epic day pretty short day short weekend in and out but uh we got us somewhere else to go so we're gonna have to go do that tonight and um all in all it's pretty fun bog the truck definitely needs some gears she was a little bit of a sluggish pig out there definitely definitely needs gear. and that's we kind of really figured is. that was gonna happen i mean you put 44s on stock gear i think it's like like i said like a 373 so um other than that won 200 bucks so add that to our budget then we won 700 dollars for winning the side-by-side -side race which was awesome and uh all in all not a bad day we got stuck multiple times yeah. but bogger down everything was pretty good it and the truck really didn't good. break i hear a popping too i think we got a u-joint or something popping in the front so now that we're gonna do the gears we'll run through the front end make sure everything is good put her back together and go from there but we are gonna do gears i think i guess we'll probably go over our ten thousand dollar budget at that point but we have to do them, it needs to be done. We'll still try to do the best we can to keep it as low as we can. We don't need to do anything else other than really gears, I think, maybe some bearings. Install kit, small, keep it short, sweet, but. And also, out here trying to bog, there's not many bog holes out here. It's usually just like one little trough and you get stuck here and it's just not the most bogged up place, kind of like Plant Bamboo has a lot better mud. Uh, we've been telling them for a long time, fix your mud holes here. As you guys could probably see, there's not very many big trucks here. They don't like to come. 
um, because the mud's just not that great. Hopefully they get that taken care of and fix that one day. It'd be really nice. Otherwise, bamboo, they got some black nasty mud there, which we'll be at. So otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching the channel. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. See you later.